Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Vector Man. Before we get started, we're going to look at the information sequence that you can access through the options menu. Someone wanted to see this, so here it is. It pretty much shows you all the pickups in the game. It's really helpful if you're playing the game for the first time, you don't know what everything does, um, and you're trying to figure out what the hell did I just bust out of that TV. So this tells you what they do. The missile morph, I will say, is the only morph that I haven't actually used in the game and will never see, because it's only once. And it's in the um, sub-zero level, the absolute zero level. When you take the right path like I did, you skip it. But if you take the left path, you use it. Basically, Vector Man just shoots straight up into the ceiling. Everything else, however, we've seen. The different guns here. The wave gun shoots through walls. I wonder if that's a throwback to Metroid. I don't know. The wave beam. Probably not. Just a coincidence. You know what multipliers do. Yep, 2x, 3x, 5x, 10x. Pretty self-explanatory. And then down to the special items, we have photons. Pretty much, like I said before, all ARs points. TVs have stuff in them. It's a shield generator, shield controller. Disables the receiver shield. And there's the receiver. Gets to the bonus level. That's it for the items. Now let's tackle something really important, like the final actual level. Welcome to Day 15, the World Link Center. This is basically Warhead's uh, base of operations, if you will. It's where he operates from, and if you, we'll see a little bit later what he's been up to. It's kind of a, a studio. We get, once again, some reskinned parts from the Terraport, but uh, the level is mainly unique enough for it not to matter. Hey, oh my god, it's Warhead, he's on the TV. There we go. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's uh, broadcasting his message of destruction or whatever. I will take this wave gun, though. Holy shit. Sentient. Fire extinguisher. Yes, the fire extinguishers return. So do the turrets, but that's pretty much it. This level does have the... Uh, the same gimmick as the bamboo factory in that there is a part later where there's a lot of moving platforms right here that are horizontal, uh, vertical, and they can take you up and down to different levels. First thing you want to do is come all the way up here to the top though because you can find a TV that's a continue points. Very helpful for if you were to die in this level. This level's not very long and in actuality it's not too hard. I wouldn't say it's, you know, easy, but it's not as hard as the level we just did. I think it's kind of cool that Warhead looks like he's taunting us from, you know, from somewhere else. Alright, we get the jet power up. We can actually use it to access an area up here that we can't normally get to, so that'll be pretty cool. Although we don't want to waste these TVs because they've got some pretty good stuff in them. Let's just wait for the jet to run out. Probably should have saved that turret to shoot me. That would have knocked the jet right out. Photons! I can't believe I waited for that. I did wait for this, though. A continue point. Those things are like candy. Alright, use the drill to access this secret area beneath the floors. It's mainly just a second path that you can take. This is, once again, not a very... Not too linear a level. There's a million different paths you can take, and by a million I mean just a few, but there are a lot of paths that you can take. Most of them will get you to the same spot. Kind of like the Bamboo Factory. Oh, well, I guess we do get another enemy. The, um, the sentient rocket launcher came back too. You know what this stage reminds me of is, uh, World 2 of Pulse Man, if anyone ever played that, where you go to the TV studio. Yeah. Yeah, no one knows what I'm talking about. And if you do know what I'm talking about, you're cool. Although I don't recall Pulse Man having this much difficulty. Alright, time to go down below. This one does have the added difficulty of some of the lifts being incredibly fast. Um, and if you're not careful, they'll take you back up to where you don't want to be pretty quickly. Wow, I just put a lot of effort into getting some more photons! Great! 
So excited about that. This is the part of the level that could make it hard. Sometimes the moving, uh, the moving platforms and stuff take you right into an enemy. And a lot of times that enemy will kill you or they jump out of nowhere. And sometimes you can jump through the ceiling and sometimes you can't. Go figure. I have to be really careful here because I only have one hit. And I am being a little cavalier with my jumping. And Warhead just can't get enough smashing things. That's okay, we'll deal with you when we get to it. Oh good, I was waiting for an extra health point. You wipe the sweat off your brow there, Vector Man. We're uh, working up a sweat. Dick move game! Holy shit, come on. Yeah, watch out for that guy. He just pretty much jumps out of nowhere. You could just continue on to the right, but if you use these platforms to get up here, you can take the upper path to the end of the level. Actually, it is the only way you can go. What am I talking about? Ha! Anyway, that's it for the final level. I'll see you guys next time for the final boss of the game! It will all culminate down to one final fight between Vector Man and Warhead. See you then.